This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're going to be talking Louis Vuitton. We're going to do a little review of the Trousse Toilette 25. A blast from the past, I want to say, very 80s reminiscent. Uh, it is my favorite toiletry pouch, at the moment at least. We're going to get into the, all the deets before that. Subscribe to my channel here on the tubes. You can push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dick of all spelled together on Patreon for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. You're all welcome to join. Hello, everybody. We're going to be reviewing this little baby here. It is so 80s reminiscent. When I did the unboxing of this toiletry pouch or the Trousse Toilette 25. I was in awe and I told you in the unboxing, for those of you who might have seen uh, one of the most iconic for the fashion and for the times, 80s movie, Troop Beverly Hills, you will know what I'm talking about because Shelley Long was in Troop Beverly Hills and she, she she drinks a lot of Evian water. She wears a lot of Giorgio Beverly Hills attire. But she also has a plethora of Louis Vuitton suitcases, small leather goods, pouches, toiletry pouches. I mean, we're talking the whole shebang boutique. And the 80s were very known for their rounded shapes. I mean, the 80s were... A decade that was referencing all sorts of other decades. You had 40s in the 80s, you had 50s in the 80s, 30s, 20s in the 80s, 60s were in the 80s, 70s were in the 80s. The 80s were famous for referencing everything. But there was something round and pastel -y about the 80s, including shapes and forms. So this toiletry pouch being a wonderful example of the DNA of the 80s. Just kind of, we have no sharp edges anywhere but here they're a little bit sharper and then here it's a little bit more rounded off so the Trousse Toilette 25 is a soft pouch and canvas this is not leather you guys this is canvas a lot of people think that this Louis Vuitton printed stuff is leather it is not so this one was purchased in the Louis Vuitton boutique just a few weeks ago you can check out the unboxing on my channel as well the interior and I already have a couple of things and let me take them out because we're going to get into details about it in just a second it has a they call it the washable interior obviously <laughs> you can't really wash it I mean you could wipe it with a damp cloth perhaps but I would not suggest doing that because this is a plastified canvas, so you can kind of pull it out. Now let me zoom this in. This one was made in France. Let me come in as close as possible so you can see it. There you go. This is leather, the Vaquetta leather tab, but the rest of this material, as you can see here, is a plastified canvas so there's a lot of cases of people you know getting these vintage and um they maybe got damp inside throughout the years a little wet uh, and what have you and so they be <coughs> can become sticky or you know if they become if they stay wet for too long or if um an oil product leaks in here or a perfume leaks inside you can wipe it clean and you should wipe it clean as soon as possible. And then I recommend drying it as soon as possible because, <coughs> pardon me, because otherwise um, the risk is that this plasticky material starts disintegrating and I see potential for it starting to disintegrate or for the, the chemicals that keep the plastic soft, they might start evaporating, so they can become sticky. And a lot of people do say that their old toiletry pouch or the trousse toilettes uh, became sticky with time. Now, this one is brand new, so obviously we're not there yet. But I do see potential for, uh, for, for it, you know, becoming sticky with time. I hope it won't. I'm going to take good care of mine. But so it has a an internal pocket, a zip pocket right here. 
and then it has a main compartment in the center. And the shape of it, you know, if you're used to the classic, classic Louis Vuitton mm, posh toilettes, toiletry pouches, here's a size 15 as an example. You're kind of used to more of these really sharp edges, sharp corners, very, very sharp corners here. Even the, the tab has that very kind of cut out corners here and then it's round a little bit at the bottom, but then it has a pointy sharp edge there as well. Very sharp finishing here. So this is kind of a more classic type of shape for Louis Vuitton, very much in the concept of packing something, stacking something, packing it together to save as much space as possible. So this is more old school way of thinking for Louis Vuitton. And this is more luxurious because in, in reality, it doesn't really plan the space in the best of ways because I mean, it could be utilizing more space on these two sides and having more an edgy corner. But then again, if they did such an edgy corner, then we would not be able to have these special piping bits. So you can see here. Do you see this piping going around here in vaquetta leather? So all these little trim piping sides on both sides of the toiletry pouch are in vaquetta leather. Obviously, if you had a very sharp edge and corner there, 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 and there, well, then you wouldn't be able to pipe that leather through so organically. You would you would have to cut the leather if you wanted a sharp edge, right? So it makes sense that this one is rounded up. It didn't have to have this little dome effect, but it's exactly this dome top that makes this so 80s to me. It is so beautifully 80s and so beautifully Troop Beverly Hills that I'm living for it. Now... In terms of size, well, it's called the, the, the Trousse Toilette 25. So one would think that it's 25 centimeters long. Let's let's see. I have here a meter. So Trousse 25. Oh, it's a bit bigger than 25. It's like 25 and a half to 26 centimeter. So let's just say it's 25 for sake, you know. But it's a little bit bigger. They're not tricking us in the size. They're not giving us less than what they're offering. It's always better if they give us more. So it is 25, almost 26 centimeters long. And then the height is 15 to 16, but it is a soft leather good kind of. So, you know, kind of between, yeah, you could say 16, 16 centimeters high. And the highest part, obviously here on the corners, it would be a little bit lower. It's a bit higher there taller there, higher there. And then the width, this one offers a lot of width. So at the bottom, it's around nine and a half and at the top also. So nine and a half to 10 centimeters in, in width here. Now I still have, okay, hold on. so let's see what fits in here. I use this as my toiletry pouch. Now, if I don't use it before we say what fits in here. I have its dust bag and I do keep it in its dust bag if I don't use it just because, you know, you don't want it to get dusty. It's a, it's a pain in the butt to clean this stuff later when it gets dusty. So it's always good to protect it. So now it's fully empty. Let's see what would go would go. So I have here my Wonderful, trusty companion, the love of my life. I love this powder to bits. Uh, natural finish loose powder by Chanel in this translucent color. You see, it's like a white. So this is a relatively big piece of makeup. And in fact, when I put it in here and I lay it flat, it does fit in, but it occupies the entire width. It literally goes from here to here. So if I push in, you can see it, there it is. It's occupying this entire corner here. Then I have a bunch of uh, Chanel uh, compacts. So this is the 
eyelashes or eyebrows, sorry, eyebrow makeup. Put that in here. And then I got my double-sided mirror. This is a really cool one also from Chanel. Yes, I'm a sucker for Chanel. So let's put that in here as well. Then I have a Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. Oh, this one this one is overly sheer. Hold on. Let me see this one. Oh, I see. Oh, it broke. Okay, hold on. This thing. Well, Chanel. I mean, I, I did use it a lot, but I came to, as you can see, I'm going to have to clean this up. Hold on. As you can see, it all kind of broke loose and now the powder is dribbling all over the place. So we're going to have to put you to the side, my dear, <laughs> for now. Actually, I can still put it. I cleaned it on the sides. Okay, so this one goes in as well. Then we got ourselves a blush also from Chanel. Let's, let's put that in here as well. Then I have more is this more eyebrow makeup let's put that in here as well then I got makeup brushes makeup brushes how many do I have maybe I have even one more okay I got all my makeup brushes here I got one for the foundation one for powder and one for blush all of these babies go into the side pocket that's where I think they fit the best. Also, so you don't want them to kind of rub against all the other stuff. So I'm going to open this side pocket right here. And we're going to go in there right now. Let's squish these little babies in there. One, two, three. And there's still room for a lot more. Of these brushes now I put them all on top of each other it's like you can't even see them the darkness has swallowed them there you go they're in there so we can just let them lean on top of each other in and that uh, I mean let me close the zipper so we have it closed okay I didn't even I didn't even fill half of this what else can we put in here my gosh there's so much stuff we can do Okay, so if I wanted to have a perfume, I don't recommend perfumes that are easily openable. You don't want to spill. But, I mean, oh, here, this is a better one. I have uh, an Hermes perfume that comes in its own pouch. The Hermes Voyage 35 ml perfume comes in its own little pouch. So let's put the perfume in here as well. What else? What else? What else we got? Okay, I can take stuff out of my toiletry pouch 15. I got my Chanel hand cream. Put that in there as well. Got my eye drops. Put that in there as well. Painkillers. Put that in there as well. Lipstick. Why not? Let's add a little lippy. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. I don't, you just you can't fill it up. Um, And we're still... Like not even, hold on, we're not even halfway there. Yeah. We're not even halfway full. It's getting super heavy though. Um, I got the Kirigami pouch, the smallest one. You know, let's say you got some, co it makes some condoms. You put your condoms here. There you go. Condom package in, is in there as well. Now we still got more room. What else do you want to put in here? I'm looking what I got here. Mm. more eye drops sure why not do a second package of eye drops oh this is a special one i also in the unboxing showed it to you guys this is my ernie also pouch i have some smaller perfumes in here and more lipsticks so it's kind of like a pouch in a pouch but sure why not let's add ernie from sesame street little plushy pouch let's put ernie in there as well <laughs> Now, Ernie is poking out of, oh my God, this is adorable. So Ernie is kind of looking at us when we open the Trousse Toilette 25. Ernie is like, hey, y'all, 
How's it going? How's it going, y'all? And there is still more space. I, I really don't know what to put in here anymore. It's like, a, oh, okay, I got more makeup here. What do I got here? Here, I have another blush, Malice. Let's put that one in there as well. And nail polish. We got Rouge Noir and Beige Feline Lippy. Sure, why not? Put it all in, girl. And we're still not... Oh my God, now it's like super heavy. And we're like, we still have really a lot of room left. Like to fill this up, you can keep going and going and go. It just, you just, you, but it's super heavy by now. But but it's a very, very full practical moment. Perfect for traveling. Now, for tra if we're talking about traveling, Here's a big issue now that, you know, we're exiting the lockdown situation. More and more people are traveling and flying. What do you do with this pouch? Would Do you, like if you're flying, do you entrust the flight company and you put this in your stowaway luggage? You, you Do you leave this in the luggage that you check in? Risking that when you arrive at destination, you open your suitcase and your Louis Vuitton is missing. You see, this is the problem that I have with traveling with these pieces because I don't want to put this in my stowaway. Like I want to take this as my carry on, but we all know you can't really take liquids with you uh, above a hundred milliliter per, per bottle. Right? So also certain cosmetic products, like for example, little scissors, you know, nail scissors or what a clippers, whatever they might consider those weapons. They might not allow you to take those on board with you. So it's kind of like, what do you do with your hand luggage? I, this for me is hand luggage. I would not, I would not let this go in the stowaway ever. I would never do it. I wouldn't put this in my luggage. I, this would be my carry on. Um, Susie Q says, never, ever do I put a designer piece in a checked piece of luggage. Me, me neither. Exactly. That's exactly the point. Uh, that's why I'm saying like, so if you have like, let's say a lot of perfumes and you have stuff in here that is, you know, liquid, liquid has to be placed in a transparent bag. <sighs> Difficult. So what do you do? Also, what do you do when you arrive to a hotel? Do you leave this just in the open on the hotel sink next to the sink? I mean, also, you know, the vaqueta leather, you want this to patina with age. You don't want it to get wet. Let's say you leave it in the hotel room and the person who's cleaning your room in the bathroom is washing around the bathroom and water drips on the vaqueta and, and it, you know, and you get the stains before it's time for them to get the stains. Mm, what do you do? Or could you imagine, like, I'm already, I'm the type of person who thinks the worst things immediately. I think, oh my gosh, there's a whole conspiracy going on. So the people working in the hotel they have the fakes and then they just swap my real one for a fake one when they're cleaning my room. <laughs> so what do you do? It's, it's torture. Like what it's torture. What do you do with this thing? Debbie says, trust no one. That's exactly, that's exactly what I do. I never trust anyone. So, so, you know, it, it's like, and this is why I always think like, this is the, this is already I love how practical it is in terms of what fits in here, but what scares me is that it's too big to always have with me um, if I'm out and about in the city, like if I'm in a hotel for work or whatever, and then I have stuff to do in the city. This is a bit too big to take with me, but I would be scared to leave it in the hotel. Would you? Let me know in the comment section down below. So this is why I say with like these type of luxury SLGs, this is kind of the biggest size that I think is worth really buying always because these you can always take with you in your bag. I mean, this Kirigami pochette also is, an, is a good size. Oh, obviously, the key pouches from um, from Louis are also a good thing to get. But also, let me take this one out again so I can show you what I mean with the small Kirigami. Like this is, these are sizes you put in your bag wherever you go. And obviously, you never... 
you never lose them unless your bag gets stolen. But these are all pieces that you always take with you in your bag, right? This one is already the size of something that you got to leave in the hotel room. I mean, sure, unless you don't have a huge hobo bag and you just kind of drop it with yourself it, it, in your bag with you. But here's what I think the solution might be. Same applies to traveling with this. So obviously I want to take this as um, a carry on. So if I do have a lot of cosmetic products, I know this is like totally crazy, but this is totally me. I would take all the cosmetic products out of this thing, put them in a cheap plastic, whatever beauty case and put it in the suitcase. This would come with me as my carry on <laughs> inside of a bigger bag, empty or or I would put in here the things that I think, I don't know, sunglasses, like stuff that I need in my carry-on luggage. You know, stuff that would be in my bigger, like let's say I take my backpack with me. This would go in the backpack and inside of this I would have, I don't know, sunglasses, wallet or something. And then when I arrive uh, to destination, I take it out and I swap the stuff. That makes no sense either because then you arrive to the hotel and then you can't leave this in the hotel with the toiletry stuff in it because, again, you're going to have to take this with you in the city when you're out and up. Oh, you see, it's so complicated. That's what I'm telling you. People say this is great for travel. I say this is great for home. Bottom line. I think, I think this is the most, like, you get most peace of mind when you just have this with you at home and you just enjoy it at home. Seriously, traveling is... Traveling causes so much anxiety in me, I can't even tell you. And I know for a lot of people, it's like, oh, come on, you know, whatever. It's just a toiletry pouch. And for other people, they're going to say, yeah, come on, but it's also so expensive. For me, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not. If it's a piece I love a lot, I don't want it to get lost. I don't want to lose it. I don't want it to get stolen. So I don't care how much it costs. It can cost a dollar. It can cost a thousand dollars. If it's a piece I love, I worry about it. I just do. I'm just a worrier like that. And I am very materialistic because pieces like this, it's just whatever. But I love them to bits. So what do you do? So I think the best is to keep a piece like this at home. Keep it home with yourself at home. Enjoy it in the comfort of your own home. And then when you travel, you take smaller pieces, you know, that are more practical to actually kind of utilize when you're on the go. I don't know what you guys think. Am I crazy? I mean, I am, but whatever. I mean, I am. We know I am. Okay. But I mean, you know, I'm just... what do you guys think? <laughs> oh, Rizology, thank you so much for the super chat. Good afternoon, darling. Take of love from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Thank My you so much, sweetie. Super chat from Rise Allergy. Thank you, thank you, thank Good you. Good afternoon, darling. Dacob. Love from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. My worst nightmare Malaysia. is when the plane Kissing is full face. and they want people to put their carry-on luggage in the cabin of checked and like, oh my God, this is my nightmare as well. But I have a trick for that as well. And the trick is to, but I know it's not really practical. They force those people who have little trolleys, you know, little little wheeled luggage, little carry-on wheeled luggage. That's the first luggage that has to go away. But if you just have a backpack, something soft and squishable, and you make it kind of look smaller than it is, then they're not going to force you to do it. So that's why that's another one of those tricks. Ugh, I know. Susie Q says, you could put it in the safe in a hotel room. Yeah, 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 you can. I was thinking the same. Depends how big the safe is. But then you're not using it. Well, what, why did you take your toiletries with you if you put the toiletries in a plastic bag to put them in the stowaway luggage so you took this in your hand luggage so you didn't have your cosmetics in here to begin with and then you arrive at the hotel room and you still don't have your cosmetics in it because you need your cosmetics in your bathroom so you're going to leave this in the safe. You see what I mean? It's trouble. Luxury is trouble. <laughs> you love it. You want to use it. You want to enjoy it. But it's trouble. Luxury is trouble. <laughs> it's trouble <laughs> just saying so there's that let me know your thoughts about this i mean how practical can it be and obviously I'm, i know that a lot of you're gonna say like who cares just use it and if it's gone it's gone no i don't want it to be gone i'm sorry i just i want to preserve it as much as i can but in the world we live in today yeah if you don't take care of it it will be gone in a in a second 
and I don't want it to be gone in a second. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I use cheap stuff when I travel except for the bag I'm using. Suzy Q, that's exactly what I do as well. And this is why I keep repeating to myself, well, this is more for home use. Or if I go to visit family somewhere else. If I fly all over the world, whatever, to visit family, then bam. That's it. Debbie says, nah, I just tell people my stuff is fake. Well, they're not going to ask you. A thief is not going to ask you, is this fake? If it's fake, I'm not going to steal it. They're going to steal it, and then they'll figure out if it's fake or not. You know, so. Thank you so much for watching. Thumb up this video if you liked it, and subscribe.